Hey, Jim, it's LK21 here. Well, let's get to my predictions for tomorrow's event, the biggest event of the summer. Summer Slam! Except it's tomorrow! <laughs> now let's get to it. Oh, let's see, we'll start with the one tag team title match as AJ and almost events the titles against Randy Orton and Willow, aka RK Bros. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, ever since AJ and almost won him at WrestleMania. Every team tried. New Day, the Viking Raiders. <laughs> they tried to take them down. Come on. Well, have you seen almost? He's huge. Come on. A couple of times, Randy did try to get an RKO, but almost. Oh, no, no. Oh. Oh. I want it to be a miracle. Imagine, yeah. Imagine if Randy and Riddle does want, wins, th wins this. But it would be more fun if Randy gets almost an RKO. Please, I want to see that moment happen. <laughs> Well, screw it. If I get along, I get along. So, I'm waiting for my, I'm waiting for the arcade blows. <laughs> well, this match, well, I'm kind of like half and half. Like, I'm looking forward to it. And, ugh. And I'm talking about Alexa Bliss versus Eva Marie. Ugh. I'm just trying, I'm just asking for Bliss. Please get rid of her. Please get rid of Eva. Please. Get, come on. I mean, this is the biggest mistake bringing her back. She still, she hasn't changed. She's still the same old era that we remembered. She can't bloody wrestle. And she always takes that credit, even though she, did, she hasn't even won one match. When someone, when she teams up with someone and they, and they pick up the win, she, she, she steals the advantage. She, t she takes the credit. Same old Eva. And I'm, this is, my, this is my theory for this match. You, like in no match, then I'm playing between Bliss and Ray. They're gonna do something with my black magic mind games. Maybe on I'm still calling her Piper. On Piper, maybe try to get Piper to tell to ditch to, get, to ditch Eva and t and also shout at you and say, "Shut up! My name is Piper Nevers." Yeah, Eva. My name is Piper Nevers. Have you seen NXT UK? <laughs> Shush. That's real. I want Alexa Bliss to win this. Tell Eva to, to be serious, become a professional wrestler, or get out! <laughs> Next. Well, we know this match was going to happen. <laughs> we really thought it was going to happen last year, so, so since Drew was the champion. But nope, we got it this year. And that's Drew McIntyre versus Jinder Mahal. Well, this is going to be interesting. Come on, you know each other for bloody years. Remember, they used to be on free and B. Well, finally, we got a proper single match since Jinder's buddy buddies are banned from ringside. But I know it, one thing is not going to be banned, and that's Drew Sword <laughs> and Drew. Aww. Still can't believe he named his sword after his mom. Yeah, but I know Drew's going to bring that sword. <laughs> but what? I don't care. I'm waiting for Drew. <laughs> I want Drew to win. Don't mess with this grass, the warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next. Oh, this is going to be good. As uh, Sheamus defends his U.S. title against Damian Priest. <laughs> uh, I don't care. I want Damian Priest to win this. Come on, cause remember the last title he ever won was the NXT North American title. <laughs> so, I want Damian Priest to win this. <laughs> win the United States title from Sheamus. Because, also, I mean, Damian Priest does a bad pro kick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shit. Shoot down to Seamus. If you show him in the heart or the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another match with I knew it was gonna happen. Another match I knew it was gonna happen. And I'm talking about Seth Wallace versus Edge. I know a dream match. Come on, you know how this how it all started seven years ago. This already started seven years ago uh, when Edge was still ret retired. And he was still not hundred percent. He's still retired, but Seth was fret Tagged him and threatened him because he, he was he was Seth almost but almost about to do it put a cut, stomp on Edge and it, it, Seth would have done that Edge would have been paralyzed. <laughs> but like Edge said, Seth didn't get the job done. <laughs> and now seven years <laughs> seven years later, they're facing each other. <laughs> well, it was Seth that caused Edge to, to win, that lost that money in the bank. <laughs> Well, it's payback time, so I'm waiting for the way our superstar to win. Give it, give Seth that drip, drip, and no ridiculous suits. Oh, drip, a sp huge spear. Mm. 
Okay, next. Oh, the rematch, a rematch from what had to be the best match we saw this year. Rematch from WrestleMania, and that's Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks. Woo. Man, this one was getting good. I'm enjoying this. So I'm just back to our old heel self. <laughs> and Sasha just wants, and Bianca just wants to whip ass. <laughs> Which, I don't blame her. But please, Sasha, please get the message. Don't mess with the hair. Did you forget what happened to you last time you messed with the hair? You got whipped. And you remember, Bianca left your mark from that. Uh, come on, if you mess her hair again, she's gonna, she's gonna leave you another mark. Maybe on the back. <laughs> so I don't care. I want Bianca Belair to retain her title. Hmm. Next, oh yeah, another, another rematch, but that, another rematch for Money in the Bank. And that's. <laughs> As the U.S. Souls defend the tag team, Spider-Man tag team titles against Rey Mysterio and Dominic. Well, yeah, well, you know why the U.S. Souls won it? Because they cheated. Huh. Oh. I don't care. I want Rey and Dominic to win, win back the tag team titles. Hmm. Then we got that triple threat match for the World Women's title match as Nikki A.S.H. A-S-H Super Nikki. <laughs> Uh, she takes on Weir with me. <laughs> and show it for you. Oh, like I said, I respect her. I respect her as a wrestler, but I'm getting bloody sick of she keeps giving these title opportunities and no one else is given a chance. I think it's unfair. Come on, they should have stuck to my idea. I think they, they should have been, should have said it should be Charlotte's last chance. They did it for Drew. I think it's unfair. Why did not do it for Charlotte? Like, this should be Charlotte's last chance. If, if she wins, if she wills, that's it. No more. No more time opportunities. It's time for something new. Come on. She hasn't had a, a, a proper pay per view single match that doesn't involve the title since 2015. All right. Right. Okay. So I don't. I just don't want Charlotte to win. Kind of like what I said last year when she competed in the triple threat match at NXT Takeover when she lost the NXT Women's Title to Io So why is that? I don't, I don't mind if Rhea wins. I don't mind if Rhea wins, but I would love to see Nikki retain. I just don't want Charlotte to win. Again! <laughs> yeah, she had a couple of wins at SummerSlam. But you can't win all the time. Sheesh. Then, oh yeah, the WWE Championship match of the almighty. Bobby Lashley takes on Goldberg. Ooh. Well, that's what Lashley MVP gets. You mess with Papa Bear, you get speared. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, I don't care what everyone says. I don't care. This is my decision and mine only. I kind of want Goldberg to win because <laughs> I think that's the only, that's the only title he hasn't held yet. Come on, he held the World Heavyweight Title, he held the Universal Title, and I think that's the the title he already hasn't held yet. So I don't care. I want Goldberg to win. Give Lashley a huge spear. Like I said, you mess with Papa Bear, you get boomed. <laughs> then to the main event. I think this match is going to be amazing. I think this match is going to, this main event is going to be amazing. Little, but still amazing. And I'm talking about this woman, the old my, <laughs> the high chief. Ugh. They ever try to get everyone to acknowledge him. Roman Reigns as he defends the Universal Tower against the man that inspired me to be myself. And I'm talking about this, who's, who's totally going to be the 17th time World champion, and that's John Cena. Hmm. Woman can say anything he wants, but Cena always be himself, no matter what. Cause I think this match is just gonna be amazing. I think. I was going. I want Cena win. Cause I'm gonna say a woman. Cause it's almost back one year since Woman came back. Remember, Summer's was the period when he made his return last year, and then also back one year since he won that Universal title. Please. But if C but this is my backup plan. This is my plan B. If Cena doesn't win, I'm praying for plan B. We see a plan B. Or should I see a plan Biggie? <laughs> Cause remember, Biggie still got the money in the bank briefcase. Hopefully he gets it back from Corbin. I'm praying he gets that back from Corbin. Stay well. <laughs> so if he does get his briefcase back, I'm hoping he may cash it in tomorrow. I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. Whew. Okay, that's my predictions for SummerSlam. Okay, I'll be back later tonight with my SmackDown reaction since this is the last SmackDown before SummerSlam. And then I'll be back tomorrow for my NXT TakeOver predictions. 
And then I'll be watching and do some reactions for SummerSlam. It's SummerSlam weekend. <laughs> All right, catch you later.